Hey everyone, it's Patrick with For Geek Sakes, and next I'm going to show you how to enable extension mobility. I'm going to go really quick, so most environments already have this enabled, but if this is a new build, a new uh, setup, then you're going to need to uh, activate that service. And I'm just going to run by real quick and show you how to activate it and get extension mobility up and running completely. Alright, first thing you need to do is go to serviceability you need to make sure extension mobility is activated because again it does not come activated or set up by default so you have to do pretty much everything but look for us it's not that difficult so we're gonna go to our server and you just need to make sure this is activated I just activated everything by default but yeah sometimes it's not enabled so here it is alright once you do that you gotta jump back over to your administration page and you need to first create the service so you do that by going to device settings and then go to phone services and we're gonna do a well you'll look and see out of the box this is what you get right so what we need to do is add a new and you can call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it extension mobility all right you can put a description here it's not necessary now the text screen here is for the URL uh, for convenience I went ahead and wrote it out for myself and you can pause it or I'll put it in the description so you maybe can just copy it but this is what you need to put in the string here and what you want to do is put in the IP address that fits your environment so uh, if you purchase my lab this will be the exact screen you need but if you are doing this on your own or have changed the IP address on my lab then of course you just plug in the IP address that best suit that suits your uh, IP address of your call manager alright this is it here enable you don't need to do enterprise if you if you have an enterprise extension mobility setup of course you need to do it but for this purpose we don't need to do it alright and that's it so next we need to go to the phone and now you have to enable extension mobility so per device so this is what you have to do you just come here and there's an extension mobility checkbox right here you need this need to be checked or the phone will not have access to extension mobility and the next thing you need to do is go to subscribe unsubscribe services and you need to subscribe to that service that you just created subscribe so now my now this phone is now subscribed and and is able to do extension mobility next we need to do is create an extension mobility profile you go back to device setting device profile and add new and we're going to continue to use the 7975 IP communicator phone that we've been messing around with so what we're going to do is go ahead and create one that looks like a 7975 right here next gonna keep it at skinny next and you gotta give it a name we're just gonna call it phone user one the description is not needed a lot of this is just gonna click through it we're gonna give it a phone button template of a 7975 again okay saw key template we're gonna just choose the standard user um, what else I think that's all we have to create alright so now we are at a device configuration of the device profile we're just gonna give an extension 2004 and if you have voicemail for this user, you can set I know assign voicemail, uh, phone number mask, just anything you would do with a normal telephone, you would do it here. If you want to give it a external call ID, I'm not sure how many fives that is, but it doesn't matter. It's just a demonstration. So once you have set it, you need to assign this to a user now. Oh, and one other thing you have to do, you need to enable the extension mobility service on the profile also and you'll be able to log in with extension mobility from the device level but once you get in on the device level you can't log out of the, the, the device profile if you don't enable that service as well so and this is a 
this will be a pain because like I said if you didn't do this when a person log in they wouldn't be able to log out so you have to give them this service on the profile level as well so so once that's done you go to the end user this is going to be the user that is actually logging into the phone so I've created a user uh, their service number is two th it's not 2002 I think I changed it to 2004 and the other thing that you need to do is the pin number so when they log into the phone they're gonna need the user ID which is user 1 and the pin number now the pin number I'm gonna pick put here is 1234 it does the default a pin number but I'm not I can't remember what that is so you can just go in here and change it to whatever you want but I, for simplicity sake I just chose one two three four one thing I forgot to do is very important I need to associate the user to that device profile so I what I need to do next is come down here to extension mobility profiles and where I created that phone user one I need to associate him to the control device so he has basically he controls the profile 2004 right so when I come to my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and reset my phone just to make sure it accepted all those changes so when I come over to my phone here right now let me let's just wait so it comes back up alright so right now you see 1001 1005 and that is just the default numbers on this phone when no one's logged into extension mobility that's gonna be the numbers available on the phone okay and what I wanna do is test out extension mobility click on my globe for extension mobility or any other service that you would assign to a phone will be underneath the globe some phone models do not have the globe so what you're looking for is the phone services so here I'm gonna put in user 1 and the pin number 1234 submit and logged in successful and you will see this phone reset and register with my extension mobility profile user one one two three four I mean in the extension 2004 and there you have it extension mobility quick and easy thank you guys for taking the time to watch the videos please like comment and subscribe for geek sakes I'm out